Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Island Girl Garden and up. I am up. Island Girl Garden, she's uh, at work right now. But we're gonna do some rose cuttings. We wanna make, we wanna make a, uh, we wanna make another rose bed. We had a rose bed over there. We moved it, some of them died. So we wanna make a new rose bed. So we use knockout roses, mostly in this bed. So we're gonna take some cuttings today and try to make some knockout roses. Try to get them to root. Okay, I did a few cuttings already. I got them in this solution right here. But most most experts say you need a nice round, thick piece like that. Leave a little bit of leaves on it, most experts say, but but we're gonna push the envelope and we're gonna we're gonna use the whole thing. We're gonna use the small ones and the big ones and see if it moves. A lot of people say if it moves like that, just don't use it because it ain't gonna take. But we're gonna try it anyway. So like I said, we're gonna do this rose bush here. We're gonna take some cuttings. And we're gonna see what see what happens. She can be get all on the root, even the ones that the experts say won't root. So here's a cutting right here. We probably gonna use two out of this one. Just gonna take it, cut it in half. Kind of shot bras on it too. So we're gonna uh, just pull the leaves back on it. Then we're gonna break some of these sticky bras off. Then we're gonna leave a little bit of leaves on it. We're gonna leave these two on it, but we're gonna make a smaller. We're gonna cut them back a little bit. Then we're gonna take our knife. So you gotta watch for these bras, they were sticky. We're just going to cut the corners. Get these things off here. We're just going to take the end and cut it like that. Take the end and slice a little bit off the side like that. Just like that. Take that little cutting. We're going to put it in the root hormone. Okay, we got like a liquid root hormone right here. We can put that in that. Got to soak up some goodness. Like I said, we can use everything, even the, little, even the top top. We're gonna use the top top too. You can see, you can see what's what, if it's actually gonna root. So we can do our thing, do our rose garden again. We still have some of them over there, from, but a couple of them didn't make it, but we're gonna make another bed besides the ones we got out there right now. So like I say, take your little cutting, slice the ends off. That's where it's gonna root at. So we got plenty of bugs on it, so. We're just gonna take a few more cuttings. I know y'all said, why are you coming up that pretty blue, that pretty rose bush? Yeah, we're gonna make more rose bushes. Everybody like rose bush. These are the double knocker roses, as I said. A lot of people say take your cuttings in June, July. So, you know what I'm saying? It's right now, it's, it's April. So, you know, I like to push the envelope a little bit, try it out, see if it works. For me. Sometimes you gotta just do your own thing. Just to try it. See if it's gonna work. So like I said, I got my things sitting in there. I got a little bit of leaves on them. I'm gonna do a few more. These are the knockout, double knockout roses. These are the uh, cherry red. The cherry red. You get three to four feet high. So plant three, part, three feet apart. For zone five through 11. And the love for the sun. Double knockout roses are the ones that's like really, really disease, a lot of the disease resistance. So we're gonna try to make a rose garden. We got these red ones, then we got some white ones. We got some red ones and white ones. We got some pink ones already out front. That's out there already. It's a nice size one. So yeah. So we're gonna take, uh, cut that off. 
That double nugget rose is kind of expensive. I mean, I seen a little teeny pot. They wanted eighteen dollars for it. So I've been sitting in the fruit home all those minutes. You just take it and stick it down in, in your whatever you putting it in. This is um, this is sand. This regular play sand, regular old sand. Then we got you use regular old sand. Put it in. We're gonna take these and put them in here. Let's stick them in the sand. And hopefully they root. I try to use the plastic container so maybe I can see the roots from the sides when they come out. That's why I got the clear containers. But once I um, once I get all them in that good, what I do is I close the top up on them. Cause it can, so it can build up a little humidity in there. Get them uh, all in here. a little humidity and then once they start to root like most people say this most people say they start to root and like this is my first time well this is my first time rooting i rooted some before but i started like in december and they took like forever to root because you know the, the weather was so cold and i had them inside of my uh my greenhouse but the temperature flux weight so much but they they did good they did good. By springtime, they was, they was about this size and ready to go. But yeah, we're gonna uh, see, I got my top right here. Once I get them in there, just gonna close that up like that. Get that whole humidity going in there. So I leave the top off, let, let the top stay off of it. Don't put the top on it, it get too hot in there. So take it and put it, I'm gonna put it in my, uh, I'm gonna put it in my gazebo Cause I got a grow light in there. I don't, you don't want it in full sun, not to start with. But I'm gonna uh, put them in there and see what happens. Cause most people say they're rooting like a month, two months. So we're gonna come back then, let you see what happens. So like I said, right now we are doing our knockout roses. We try to get a little more roses out of it. You know, everything is special right now. So we, sometimes you gotta do some cuttings and, and grow you a little extra. So we're gonna finish with this. Then we got another one over there we're gonna do. We got a red one over there we're gonna do. So we can do that one next. So until next time, like and subscribe to Island Girl Gardening. And up. And until next time, grow something. Put a put a put a seed in the soil, grow something.